Yakuro Munach was a Nibia. Nibian kept your sister. Urobana Richie. Eh? Mumfama. Undo Kurum was it? Kurum, Nibia in her Kurum. Jose, he gave this boy's facial appearances, behaviors, and lack of knowledge led to people calling him a monkey. The mother was always struggling with raising this boy, but today she says whom they called a monkey is now making them rich. This is the update. He was born in the southern part of the country. He goes by the name Tanzimana Eli. He is a handsome boy, born with a special face that many people see it looking a bit unique. And this led to being bullied by many people out here saying he is an animal, a ape, a gorilla or more. Tanzimana Eli who is 23 cannot manage to talk. He tries hearing but the ability to hear quickly is another issue, but as we tested, when you tell him repeatedly the same things, he understands. According to his mother, everything was done so that this boy would be taken to a school that cares for the disabled, so that this boy would at least know how to read and write. But it all came to an end by when she was told that the boy has no intelligent quotient allowing him to attend a school. This is how the mother explained that. The mother says that his 21 old boy did not go to school because White told her that this boy cannot manage to attend a class. Those experts examined the boy and told the mother that her boy lacks knowledge. He has knowledge to survive, but not that of making him a student. That's what doctors said. In his daily life, Tanzimana Eli gives his mother her task as a parent because the boy is always on the go. He's always running in the forest and the mother has to go looking after him. He always runs in the fields, destroying crops carelessly. This doesn't concern him. She says that this boy came from heaven as a gift from God because they got what they asked for. She says that she loves this boy no matter what, but she adds that when she delivered this boy, doctors told her that if she doesn't have enough pace, she won't be able to raise the boy. And this eventually came true to the fact that she always ran after her son. This made the mama have something kind of a rope that he uses when running after his son. This allows her to catch the boy by throwing it on top of her head, then pull him. Children in this area are always around him, but when they make an approach, yet there are many, he just runs away heading to the forest. And some of the neighbors compare his living style to others and conclude saying that he is a complete animal, because he can graze on grass. They believe if not followed up, he can live in the forest. He was born with people and lives with the villagers. And you as the mother knows this very well, that without your inspection, he can feed on grass. Yes, he does. Everyone here knows that this boy is different. We have never seen such a person who can graze on the field and rely on pasture as other animals do. Without parents or other people's intervention, he can go and live in the forest because most times he runs in the forest and we as neighbors and parents come and find him then bring him back home. That's the reason why everyone here is assigned to keep an eye on him. The whole village is required to make sure he's safe and he's not in the forest though he behaves like a monkey. For our first time visiting this family, the mother to this boy emphasized on one of her daily problems she faces that was to provide for this boy who doesn't feed on every food cooked at home. Their house, which is almost falling on them, and lack of no domestic animals 
was one of the highlighted wishes of the mother, who wished to have a new house and at least one or two domestic animals. And life here is so hard. We have no job, no money. Everything is so difficult here. Affording his fresh food is always not possible. That's why sometimes he's seen feeding on grass. So getting what to feed him is one of the difficulties I face. But some of the problems are getting solved this time. We visited back with good news. We brought funds gathered through GoFundMe and gave it to this mother who would not believe it was real. She thought she was daydreaming. She thanked each and everyone from the deep of her heart and praised God who never fails. There are people who saw you on Afrimax English and they sent you a message. We would like to deliver the message to you. In an interview we had, this was her reaction after receiving the money. Oh my God, is this all mine? I now have seen the house. I now have what it takes to get a house. <laughs> with joy and laughter, she struggled with saying Afrimax as she was trying to thank everyone. <laughs> Lord, I don't have a proper way of saying this. Oh, Heavenly Father, please come and take people who does such in heaven. I request blessings from God to your lives. May God bless you abundantly. May God multiply what you have done to me seven times. I'm really out of what. I don't know how to thank these people who are doing this to me. It's unbelievable. I'm now going to buy the house. But are these good people hearing me? I wished I could see them face to face. Only God will bring rewards to such people. May God reward you all. May you see it right with the Heavenly Father. I had never seen such a kind act on this world. It's unbelievable. I'm going to buy a good house and buy some domestic animals so that even when I die, my boy will be relying on them. By when I will be have gone, I have to make a little saving for my boy because no one knows I may die and I will depend on that. But why would those people not come here so that I will take them in my back as to give them a ride, thanking them? She said that right after we left, there were some slight changes. After the Kinyaranda version of this story made, a few people within the country had started sending her money. But sadly, after a certain amount of money sent for them on a neighbor's phone, because they didn't have one, that neighbor was later stolen each and everything, and they lost their money. But despite that, she says other people kept supporting her. She says someone from Netherlands sent her money and is still in the bank. And other people supported by bringing tangible foods like rice, posho, beans, cooking oil and other materials like bars of soaps, shoes and clothes. They also brought her a phone. She can communicate, though she sometimes faces network issues when communicating with people from abroad. I thanked all of those people who helped and supported me. I confessed blessings over their lives. There is nothing else I would do for them rather than asking God's hand to be upon their lives. I told them that if they were nearby, I would carry them in my back so as to show my gratitude as kind of appreciation because they helped me to fight against hunger.
I even took my boy to the barber shop and he shaved. See, he looks good. May God bless and reward you because I have nothing to give you. You did great things to me. All I got was because of you. Without you, life would be the same. But now it's a different story. If you would have not come here, I would have not got all that I have today, said the mother. After handing her such a huge amount of money, we would not risk her life and let her remain with such a big sum of money. We had to go with her and escort her to the bank, create a new bank account for her, then deposit her money in order to avoid thieves. That's all we did. We created her new bank account, deposited money. <laughs> All we did was make sure we don't hear safety news. But this has always been how we do it. When we visit people living in such remote areas, bringing money for them, we make sure their money is kept safe. Again, I take this opportunity and thank whoever donated and whoever thought or prayed for this boy so that his life would change. Thank you for your support. We move from grass to grace, from primordial ooze which will spring up towards the immortal reality. From sinners to saint, we move. From nature's will to God's will, we move. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah. This is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.